Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new my name is Julie and I do handbag reviews and if you're not new welcome back guys it's so great to see you so great to see my friends so tonight I have got another review hmm I guess that's what I do around here so this is actually on one of my top favorite bags it is um, a Longchamp bag and it's a requested review and I am so sorry, I can't remember the person who requested this video. She wanted to see what the top handle pouch looked like in this bag, and I am going to go in depth over the size small top handle bag, and I'll show you what all I pack in it, including that one handle pouch, okay? So, this is the Longchamp Le Pliage size small top handle bag. Longchamp has two size smalls, and if that's not confusing enough, it can be very confusing, very daunting. Just know that this is the true small, okay? And it's smaller than the size small with the long handle. This is the one with the shorter top handles, okay? The one I have here is in the color Ocean. I have four more. I have, they're all in the back over there, and I have a corn one in the green line, I have a cognac, a bilberry, and then I have the dusty mauve from the club line. I love them all, they're all fantastic, and there's so many pros to this little bag here. It's a little bag that packs a true punch, and I'm gonna go over the pros, I'll go over some of the cons with you. But just to kind of go over the quick dimensions, the bag measures 9.1 inches across the bottom, okay? It's 8.7 from bottom to top. The depth is five and a half inches from here to here. And then the handle drop is four inches, okay? This is the green line bags and out of actually all of these bags, they all do truly fold up. They have the snap on the back they can full up, collapse down, you can pack them away in a suitcase, you can travel with them. They are amazing travel bags. The only thing you have to keep in mind with these bags is they are just strictly top handle carry or crook of arm like this. So you can't exactly, you know, throw this bag crossbody and rock it because there is no way to do that, okay? So, just like with all of the other Le Pliage bags, it's made out of nylon. This, in, this one in particular is from the Green Line, so it's made out of full recycled nylon materials, okay? The other two, the one from the original line and then the Club Line, those are not recycled materials, strictly just created nylon from Longchamp brand, okay? Um, here you do have the Longchamp button, the horse and jockey, and then here on the green line bags, you do have the embroidered uh, horse and jockey. The handles are connected with decent sized chaps. These are actually, like two years ago or a year ago, Longchamp decided to make the chap connections actually a little bit bigger because they used to be a little bit smaller, so they did up the size of these connector chaps, which actually helps distribute the weight a little bit more if you pack these bags down. I never use an organizer in my size small bags just because I like a little bit of that slouchy effect. You could definitely put an organizer in here though just to kind of keep things from jumbling around if you wanted to. So I'm getting ahead of myself, but I just wanted to kind of show you how these bags look. They're just like all the other Le Pliage bags where you have the snap here, okay, the button there. This underside flap is a very, very smooth, soft suede feeling. It's just the other side of the leather. And then you open up the bag like so to expose the zipper. And just to show you, this is everything that I have in my bag so when they remade the original line just recently, the originals have now two interior slip pockets. The green line bags just have one, and it's one large slip pocket right here on the back side of the wall, okay? And then the rest of the main compartment is a really, really good, decent size. 
I'm gonna tilt the camera down just like I normally do and show you everything that I pack in mine because it really truly can hold a lot. And here again, on the size smalls, you do have the ears. This is what they call the ears of the bag. It's just leather tabs here, which really make it nice and easy for whenever you do go to open and close this bag. You just, this is a little tricky, but you just grab a hold of one of the ears and then you take the zipper pull and then you just glide along. You do have to kind of maneuver a little bit around this flap and then the flap just pretty much automatically comes down. For some people, they like to take the extra step to actually snap this bag like so. Sometimes a lot of people just like to leave this bag fully unsnapped and just do the zipper. That is another way of carrying this bag and not have to really deal with it. This does kind of flop around. Sometimes you can hear it, you know, as you're walking around your day, you know, walking around, you can kind of hear the metal clinking. Um, and then a lot of times the people just leave this bag fully unzipped and then they do the snap. So that's just another way you can carry it is by leaving it unzipped and then doing the snap like so. So there's multiple ways to carry this bag. I just really find these bags so user friendly only just because they are so super lightweight and really these bags weigh nothing and really what you're just, you know, carrying, I mean, the weight is just the stuff that's inside of your bag. So if you load up a lot of stuff in your bag that's really heavy, it's just gonna make the bag that much heavier, but just know these bags literally weigh nothing. They are fairly water resistant too, so that's really nice. Um, we love an all weather bag, especially when it's, you know, you never know when the rain or snow is going to pop up. So that's the beautiful thing about long shop bags is they're just this super sturdy, durable, everything that you could ever imagine. You take it, they take a beating. Um, one thing you do have to always remember about any long shop bag is the corner wear. And these things are prone to corner wear just because they do come to a sharp point in how they're made. Just know that one time long shop will repair your bag for free. And after that one time, you do have to pay to have your bag repaired, but anyway. Guys, I think this bag is awesome. I truly do. It's so one of my favorites. Just the only negative I can really think about though is that it's just a top handle carry bag. So again, if you're one that really likes to be hands-free and at least have like a shoulder strap, this does not have that. So yeah. But the price is right. The price is so good on these bags. This one in particular retails for $125. All the Green Line bags, size small top handle, are $125. Just to show you the originals, all the ones in the original lines are $110. So they're a little bit less expensive and still absolutely beautiful. The originals have the gold toned hardware and then they all come with the brown trimmings like so. Um, do, 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 do. The ones that are in the club line I think are 125. This one I found on Nordstrom Rack and it's still available on Nordstrom Rack I just found out for like 89 so you can really find the deals on some of these discontinued colors, guys. So that's seriously a pro because I feel like Longchamp is kind of entry level to luxury or who even knows what luxury is. I mean, these bags are awesome, period. Contemporary, luxury, whatever you wanna call Longchamp. I really feel like with the customer care and just the longevity of these bags and how classic they are. It's just, there's so many pros to them. I just really, really love them. So anyway, I will go ahead and do a turn down of the camera and then I'll throw in a few little mod shot looks. Um, I am extremely casual guys, by the way. So but um, these bags do kind of lend to being a little bit more casual. And just so you guys kind of know, I love just carrying this bag pretty much open. Like 
the way this actually falls just in the natural world is like this. Like the inner flap kind of falls in on itself and then the bag kind of just stays open. Um, just kind of know though that your stuff could fly out at any time if you choose to just like wear bags like this. Um, but yeah, this flap has a tendency to kind of want to do that on its own if you don't zipper on up. But if you zip the bag, like what I'm gonna do here, the flap obviously goes over. So um, an additional negative, what people do not like about Le Pliage at all is this and zipping around it. So, you know, it comes with the territory with Le Pliage, sorry guys, but it is, it's something that you either hate it and you're like, get me away from those or you're like, I'm okay with it. I love the bag regardless. So yeah. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do wet bit. Okay guys, so for this example, I'm gonna use my corn bag because it's got a little bit of a lighter interior and I felt like it would be just so much easier to just kind of show you what fits in this bag compared to the ocean one, which would be darker interior. So, okay, one of my subscribers was asking how the pouch with handle here fits inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. It fits very nicely and there's still tons of room behind. So you can kind of see there, lots of nice room there. And I have um, converted my keys. I put my gym pass, my key fob and my mailbox key in this little longchamp pouch and I adore it. It's so cute. So I'm just gonna plop that right in. And then in the back pocket, I'm gonna stick my business cards. The flat pocket in these holds back really nicely to give you more access to the inside, if that makes sense. And then we'll just pop in my sunglasses, seeing glasses, and then my Rosalie coin purse. So loving all those little things that just went in. So. There she is, nice and full. There's even some more room to put more stuff on the top if you wish to. There's still quite a lot of room. Um, comparing this to other bags out there, some people compare this to the size of a Speedy B or a Speedy 25. I think it's a little smaller than what a Speedy 25 would fit just because of the tapering effect. Um, 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 it would be probably bigger than a Speedy 20 though. I have no idea. I've never owned a Speedy 20. They are adorable, but um, just know that it's just under what a Speedy 25 would fit, I would say. Okay, so that is everything that fits in my Corn Longchamp size small. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for watching. As you can tell, these bags are seriously my ultimate favorites. And they're the right price, they're not too expensive, and they just are fantastic for when, you know, you want to just kind of like lug around a bag and not have to worry about the weather and just enjoy, you know, a rough and tumbly bag kind of more so these are great and just awesome size like the size is just so good i love it so thank you guys so much i hope you have a wonderful day take care bye bye